of our republic that involves uh, fair elections is the atrophy of fairness in the um, in the media. The media doesn't, 90% of them aren't calling Obama out or, nor his campaign for the lies, including the lie in this latest ad that you just referenced. You know, our, our own Peter Johnson Jr. was on Fox and Friends this morning, and, and he rightly pointed out here, that, you know, we have campaign election laws. There cannot be any collaboration of any kind here. Let me show, because the, the campaign went out there and they repeatedly said, we, we have nothing to do with this. We don't even know this guy's story. But if you look at the ad in May run by the Obama campaign, we'll run them side by side so people can see. I mean, there you have the same guy. This is back in May. You have Priorities USA on the left, Obama for America. And if you notice, he's even wearing the same shirt there. Um, what do you think should happen? Should there be an investigation? What I think should happen is some of these reporters who know the truth about this situation because they were in the room, in the press conference or teleconference room, listening to this back in, I think you said it was back in May, and now they're watching this ad play out from a super PAC. They, they know what happened, and I don't know how they can sleep at night. They're the ones who are, uh, they're basically prostituting themselves for a job, for interviews, Interviews for uh, access to the Obama administration in the campaign, and they're letting this go on. Though it is illegal, it violates the um, the PAC laws. Uh, it, what I would like to see happen is for just one reporter in the mainstream media who knows the truth about this to stand up and um, uh, yeah. do the worthy and ethical thing and let Americans know that there was collaboration and also that this uh, is a far-fetched despicable uh, ad that misrepresents uh, Governor Romney's position. You know, for, that would